I've been searching Follow every step, every road, every single trace Hey guys, welcome back to another electric skateboard video. Today I'm going to try to explain and show as simplistically as possible of how to build your own battery. I know that there are some people out there that are confused a little bit about how to put a battery together and what to use. So hopefully I can simplify this in this video. Um, what we're going to do is most people, they have welders, well they'll weld tabs to their batteries. What we're going to do is we're going to go the easy route and we're just going to use holders here. So you can get these holders on Amazon for pretty cheap, so under $10. And uh, also we're going to go through of how to hook up a BMS. This is a 10S, which stands for uh, 10 batteries. So, And we are working with LG HG2 batteries, which are high drain, 3000 milliamp hours. So I got these on eBay actually, and I hope they're real because I did pay premium for them but I've never seen them packaged like this so it makes me worried a little bit because they're packaged too nice so as you can see here I got six packs which I only need five for ten so I bought an extra one just in case alright let's open a few up here and see what's inside of these things um, it kinda makes me nervous because I've bought things before that were supposed to be authentic and they were not but anyways here it comes in these little pouches I don't know in any case the seller sells a lot of these and they guarantee them being authentic so now it does have this little weird sticker but that's mandatory these days because of customs and all that other weird stuff or regulation should I say alright guys so here are all the batteries they're out of the boxes so I'm pretty sure these are genuine but we'll find out for sure Alright guys, so whenever I get new batteries, I always want to check, make sure they're all at the right voltages or close to the same. Check every single one, so I'm going to go ahead and check 10 of them here. And you guys can see, our first one is at 3.5, so it's kind of low. Let's see what the next one is. 3.57. So as you can see guys, all the batteries are equal. So that's a good sign. Let's uh, start on talking about how to build a battery. So if you already know how to do this, it's probably not going to be a very interesting video for you. But I wanted to go over detail because there was some requests about how to put a battery together. So it's actually pretty simple. So um, most of the time what you want to do is you want to work with a higher voltage kind of system. So because the higher the voltage, the more efficiency you have. So 10S is a is a pretty sweet spot for uh, electric skateboards. So, and there's a lot of components for 36 volt system. So 36, 37 volts. So that's a S10. So S10 for 10 batteries. So, so essentially what that means is that if you have 10 batteries and they're all... Uh, rated at 3.6 volts times 10 that will give you 36 volts so there's 10 batteries at 36 volts and what you're going to do is you're is you're going to connect them in series not parallel not all together as one but it's going to alternate between each other where it'll double the voltage so the first thing to do is obviously put your batteries in your in your holder if that's what you're going to use so for most people these holders is probably the best choice for custom made anything because they're actually pretty good um, you know if you don't have a welder to weld tabs onto these batteries correctly it's not worth trying to do it any other way the only thing I've noticed about these holders that sometimes these metal tabs here are bent a little bit too much in and you'd have to like you know bend them out so maybe get a screwdriver and kind of pull them out make sure you got a really tight make sure these are pushing really tight because on my last build what I what I didn't notice is the battery fit in here but as you can see the battery is tight in there it goes in it's already tight so if you put this in too tight one way one of the connectors on this side won't be pushing as hard in here so basically what's happening is the battery is getting jammed between the plastic but the connector is not pushing hard enough on it and that's where I had the uh, connection problems and eventually what happened was it overheated 
one of my tabs and started melting the plastic because of the current uh, was generated by a bad connection and making heat in, in the tab. So. so another thing to talk about next is when you put your batteries in, depending on how you're going to array all these together. So today we're just going to concentrate on simplistic design, which is just a straight line. So it's easier to understand how the batteries go in series. Okay, so one of the things that you don't want to confuse you is these little plus and minuses on, on the bottom here because, um, you know, if you're going to use these, those don't mean anything to you technically. What you need to do is, you know, visualize what the, where, where the battery here is, the negative and the positive. So, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to alternate them. So positive, let's say positive is going to go this way. So I'll put my the first battery in. Okay, so I bent these connectors out a little bit and as you can see they have really good connection to the battery. So they're pushing hard into the battery. So once that's down all the way, you got a good connection there. So now you have your power coming out of these leads on the bottom. So essentially your battery is live here now, so be careful not to short it anywhere here. And don't work on a metal table. So if you got positive here, that means you're gonna opposite the other next one. So you're gonna go put positive the other way now. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put all the batteries in the other holders one by one the same way. So essentially you're just flipping them. Negative positive, positive negative. Negative positive, positive negatives. Alright, so all of the batteries are in, all ten of them. And if you look closely here, you can see we got positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative. So they're alternating between each other. So it's as simple as that. So this system will give you 36, 37 volts uh, rated. So obviously when they're charged, it's going to be closer to 42. All right, so next let's go to talking about how you would wire them together. Because right now what you got is just a bunch of open connectors. So the simplest way that I can explain this would be this is your battery just think of this as as your one battery so you would need a negative and a positive somewhere so here we can see that this battery positive right here and if we go to the very end on the same spot this one is negative so essentially your 36 volts will be coming out of these two leads this will be your positive and this will be your negative so everything in between is just going to be chained together. So you would just go like this and then you would jump to this one. So you're always flowing with the from the let's say from the positive to the negative. And so here you're at the positive again. So you're flowing to the negative. Here you're at the positive again flowing to the negative. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna solder these two guys together here. So you're gonna solder these guys together and then you're gonna come over here so you're gonna go like this like that solder these and then come down and then solder these guys and then go this way solder these guys together and then come down solder these guys together and so on until you're done and then after you solder all these connectors solder this and then solder this and that's it you're here so you end up with a negative so after you solder all that daisy chain together, link them all together, what you're going to have is a positive and a negative, and that's going to be your main output right here, going out. So it's as simple as that, guys. It's not too complicated. Okay, hopefully that made sense, and you know, once you get this thing built, you have a battery. So what do you do next? Obviously, you know, you got your output, you can connect it to anything now and run it. So, but you need some kind of management system because without a management system, those batteries are not going to live long. So, this is where these BMSs come to use. So, so I'm not too familiar with all this technology myself. I know there's different kinds of BMSs, but I'm just using the uh standard ones that everyone sells. So, and they seem to be working fine. So this one has a little heat sink up here, which is, which is a good choice because, you know, the, it will heat up. And you want to try to keep your electronics as cool.
cool as possible. In any case, so let's look at how you would connect a 10S BMS on this system. So the reason you want a 10S is because you have 10 batteries here in series. So what happens usually on a BMS is you got the control unit here and then you got the plugs or usually wires or a plug that comes out of it and then you have a few soldering points right here. Alright and how you would wire this is pretty simple. Don't get confused. So your minus will go to here to B minus and then it will go inside and come right out and still be minus. So you would go from battery negative of the battery and then this will be your output the P minus. So this will actually be the discharge to your motors or to your controller to whatever you're sending power to. The other one the C that's for charger that's charger minus so whenever you're going to charge these batteries you're going to connect your negative of your charger to here and your positive to here alright so now the the individual connectors here the black wire goes to the negative of the battery so that's pretty obvious it's black but where do all these go well it's pretty simple you just start counting from the black wire. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you got 10 cells here. I think the, the easiest way to show this is let me show you guys a picture here on the computer. So this is your BMS. So there's your B negative, goes straight to the battery. There's your P negative, which comes out of the BMS. So essentially, like we talked about, it comes out of the negative, goes into the BMS, and comes right out. And this is your output. So this would go to whatever you're powering. And then we got the charging, the C negative. So that'll be your charging socket. So the negative part will go here and the positive will go to the battery. So from the positive of the battery, you'll go straight to your power load too. So essentially the jack is just connecting to the positive and then the negative is to the C on the BMS. So C negative. So Alright guys, so here's another image that might make a little more sense maybe. But same thing we got here. B, P, this one doesn't have the charge one, but it doesn't matter. Here's the uh here's what matters though. So number one, you would go to your first battery. So your first red long the red wire would go to your first battery. Number two would just go to your second. So as you can see where they're series together is where, but basically the easiest way to think about it is you just find the first positive of the battery. This is where that goes, to the first positive. Then to the second positive, to the third positive. So let me show you guys how simple that is. So let's say we're gonna do our first one, which will be the first wire after the black would be one. So, Where's our first positive in this battery? Our whole thing starts here with the positive. So our first one would go here. Then our second wire after that would go here. And then our third wire would go here. Our fourth wire would go here. Our fifth wire would go here. So to every positive after that, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's it, guys. You, you built a BMS. It's as simple as that. So I don't know if I explained this good enough, but hopefully that makes a lot of sense. And uh, I know if you're new, this could be very daunting a little bit. But just look at it some more, figure it out where all the wires go. You'll get it. It's not too bad, not too complicated. But in any case, um, and obviously this goes for bigger or smaller packs. You just scale it up or scale it down, depends on what you're building. So, <clears throat> And uh, what I wanted to show here is that <clears throat> you can see it starts with 3.7 volts so once you put 3.7 volts and 3.7 volts you'll get 7.4 volts so then if you add another battery to it you get 10.8 uh, volts so then it continues you know continues continues until you built to 36 volts alright guys so that'll be it for this video um, I know you'd probably like to see me build this thing 
it will make more sense but uh, I will be doing that in another video in this video I just wanted to kind of go over the battery building so you know some of the beginner people can really understand how to build their own battery because it's not that hard as long as it's not too hard as long as you figure out how to do it so yeah so stay tuned for more videos I got pretty exciting things gonna happen to the DIY skateboard that I was building or should I say rebuilding I'm going to double my battery is what I'm doing here I already have one pack like this so I'm gonna double this and uh, that's not the only thing I'm doubling so stay tuned for those videos coming and thanks for watching this video hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to see more alright I'll see you on the next one peace